Girls, this is Miss Breland, and I'm back with another exciting read aloud, Counting on Frank, written by Rod Clement. Have you ever sat and wondered how many stuffed animals can fit in my room or how many jelly beans can fit in a jar? Well, you're probably like the boy in this book who loves thinking about numbers in creative ways. So come on in and join me for Counting on Frank. My dad says, you have a brain, use it. So I do. I sit down and fill my notebook with facts. Did you know that the average ballpoint pen draws a line 7,000 feet long before the ink runs out? My parents consider this fact to be a bit childish, but I'm sure the pen company would like to know. My dog, Frank, is pretty big and takes up a lot of space. I calculate that 24 francs could fit into my bedroom, but sometimes there isn't even room for one. If Frank were a humpback whale, however, only 10 would fit into our entire house. I asked dad about this and he said they would get in the way of the television. I calculate that only one dad would fit inside our big television, but only one-tenth of him would fit in mom's portable television. Mom said she would prefer the top part because dad's feet smell. We've got a tree in our yard. It grows about six feet every year. If I had grown at the same speed, I'd now be almost 50 feet tall. I wouldn't really mind, except that I'd never get close to fit. I don't mind taking a bath. It gives me time to think. For example, I calculate it would take 11 hours and 45 minutes to fill the entire bathroom with water. That's with both faucets running. It would take slightly less time to empty as long as no one opened the door. When I get dressed, I don't think about fashion or style. I think about facts. For instance, it's a fact that if I put on every piece of clothing in my closet, I would be nine feet tall and six feet wide. I would also be unable to sit down. I enjoy dinner. Not because of the delicious chops mom cooks every night or the conversation. It's the peas. If I had accidentally knocked 15 peas off my plate every night for the last eight years, they would now be level with the tabletop. Maybe then mom would understand that her son does not like peas. There's a mosquito in my bedroom that's keeping me awake. It's very interested in the workings of my brain. If it were four million times bigger, it wouldn't fit inside my ear, but I guess it would make more noise than a jumbo jet. At breakfast, I have a glass of orange juice and two pieces of toast. Our old toaster shoots the toast about three feet into the air. It makes you think, if our toaster were as big as the house, it could endanger low-flying aircraft. Going shopping with mom is a big event. She is lucky to have such an intelligent helper. It takes 47 cans of dog food to fill one shopping bag, but only one Frank to knock over 110. Because of Frank, my knuckles will scrape along the ground by the time I'm 25. The local club had a competition. You had to guess how many jelly beans were in a jar and the prize was a trip to Hawaii. They didn't know who they were dealing with. There are 745 jelly beans in the average candy jar. I thought everybody knew that. As dad said on the plane to Hawaii, you have a brain, use it. Friends, 
I really hope you enjoyed listening to the story Counting on Frank. I love this book. Are you now thinking about numbers in fun and interesting ways? Awesome. I have a few more challenges for you to think about. If there were 24 Franks in the bedroom, how many dog ears would there be? How many Frank paws would there be? Can you count how many pairs of sunglasses that are in the picture with 24 francs? Lastly, look closely at the piece of paper the boy is counting on. Each set of lines with a slash going through it stands for five francs. Can you figure out how many francs the boy has counted so far? Awesome. Well, until next time, friends, enjoy counting.